Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. The TV networks love crime stories. Some are so popular, they're now franchises, kind of like fast food chains. You know, Law & Order, Law & Order Criminal Intent, Law & Order Special Victims Unit, CSI, CSI New York. New York just happens to be a major TV market. CSI Miami. Miami just happens to be a major TV market. NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles. LA just happens to be a major TV market. And the creepiest one yet, and, and that's really saying something, the following. If you ask around, most everybody has a favorite. 24. The Closer. Hawaii Five-0. Well. Dateline NBC. Rockford Files. Castle. Elementary. Person of Interest. Nightline. Columbo. You do know it's 2013, right? The networks know the crime stories get people to watch, and then they sell those audiences to the advertisers. According to the wild-eyed liberal mainstream media dictionary, crime, a synonym for money. And that is what makes this so interesting. Imagine a creepy, real-life courtroom drama. A man's on trial. He ran a quiet neighborhood business in Philadelphia. He's accused of killing a client and seven newborn babies without anyone really noticing. The investigation only began after a drug raid found all kinds of creepy stuff inside the building. If the testimony in the trial is true, he could be the most prolific serial killer in history. On top of all that, the state admits it looked the other way. But if you were to ask 10 people on the street right now if they've ever heard the name Kermit Gosnell, well, if it's not on TV, it doesn't really exist. And it appears the reason that very few people have heard about the case has something to do with Gosnell's occupation. Gosnell just happens to sell abortions.